Hey guys, so I'm here again with Ian Sharp and we've got some brilliant news. Yesterday, Ian found out that his third feature film has just been green lit. That basically means that all the finance is in position for him to start shooting his third movie in November. Now Ian, can you just tell us about how, how you went about getting the finance and getting this project off the ground? No worries. Uh, so this one was a combination of a, a few different elements. So we had equity finance, which is basically someone giving you some cash. Uh, you've got uh, soft money, which is like government back money. Uh, so you've got like the BFI, Creative England, Screen Yorkshire, uh, all great resources that we've got access to uh, as, as, as creatives. Uh, and also uh, a distribution deal. So. Uh, what that, that means is someone will, will take your movie, put it out there, and they'll, for the rights for that uh, movie in that particular country, they'll give you some money for it. So, put all those elements together and boom, you put your budget on. That's brilliant. Now, that's incredible. But obviously, once upon a time, you were in the same position as me. Yeah. You were just starting out as a producer, trying to raise funds for your first film. So, if you were in my position now, because obviously things have changed from when you first raised your, your money for your first film. So. Yeah. If you were in my position now, doing your first short film, how would you go about raising the money for that? Okay, well, what could help is what I did when I first started, I actually put on a play. Uh, and that was, being honest, that was friends and family money. Uh, and that was in 2009, I believe. Um, so crowdfunding wasn't available then, but in your situation, crowdfunding for me would be the way to go. Uh, not only is it a great way to, to, to raise finance, but also to build up an audience, a following, a fan base, and allies, whatever you want to call it, which is crucial. Uh, there's one thing making a movie, it's another thing getting it seen. So that's what I would do, and I think that's the right path for you. Okay, yeah, and since the last video, guys, Ian sat down, we went through my script again, so we could devise a budget to figure out exactly how much I need to make this film and we came up with after looking at everything locations directors craft services all those kind of fees equipment camera hire um, the budget came to around about fifteen thousand dollars with which made me choke a bit because it's a lot of money so I got scared um, and we looked at crowdfunding options and we've decided to go with Indiegogo it's just because they specialize in in um, funding and crowdfunding for the artists of this world, you know, making films, etc., etc. So that's what we've gone for, and hopefully there'll be more about this on Monday. I'm hoping to launch this this crowdfunding on Monday, and I've just realised that I haven't actually told you guys anything about the movie because I've been so focused on getting into teaching you guys about the process and stuff. You don't really know much about the movie, but that that's all on the campaign page. So come Monday you'll find out all, all the information you need. So that was quite um, a big lift, Ian's given me a big lift there and made, made me understand what I need to do to go about making this a reality. Now yesterday me and Ian went to watch a movie, Northern Soul, which the star of Northern Soul, Elliot, will be getting interviewed on this, this channel very, very soon. So Ian, you spoke to the director, Elaine, for a little while and she told you about how long it took her to get this film off the ground. Can you tell us a bit about that and how long it took her? Yeah, I think she mentioned that it took in total around 10 years, which obviously is huge, but at the same time, it doesn't surprise me. That's, you know, that can be quite normal. Uh, yeah, so what I just spoke about in the video, which she was tenacious, she wanted it out there, you know, I think they shot it, what, 2012? Was uh, it, it was maybe, a while ago, yeah. It was a while yeah. ago, but uh, it's finally now having its moment, and rightfully so, because it's, it's a really good film, and, and Elliot did a, a fantastic job. The cast was great. Um, so yeah, I mean, we were. She was celebrating the CAA yesterday. The, the biggest, probably one of the biggest agents in, in, in the world. The so. mafia of the the acting world, I, to be I, honest. I, yeah, I, I'm not saying that. But, uh, <laughs> but no, no, fair play to her. You know, she she worked hard and mm. and yeah, she deserves that recognition. So yeah. Now, ten years. That's a long time. How much rejection must she have faced to get to this point? Oh. How long have we got? Like, yeah. hundreds of rejections every day. You know, it's that's that's that that's the process. That's yeah. what we do. You're asking people for money, yeah. you know, or, or you know, or you you're trying to show. Look, this is my dream. This is my vision. Yeah, back my vision. That that's that's hard. You yeah, know, that's difficult. Um, and you yourself, with the three projects you've had, yeah. how much rejection oh, have you faced? Thousands faced? constantly. I'm, I'm constantly rejected, yeah. and I'll always be rejected. Yeah, uh, that's part and parcel of, of what we do. But now I just go right. 
the egg is yeah. cliche, but I kind of see it as a, as a yes. I go, yeah. okay, no worries, and I learn from that, and I go, okay, but next time or whatever. So don't don't let that discourage you. Like embrace the rejection. Yeah. You know, make you, you know get get thick skin because yeah. that's what we do. That's it, and because people only ever see the end result, guys. Like I discussed in videos before. They don't see the amount of like Northern Soul is a phenomenal film. I hope you all get to see it, and we'll be speaking to Elliot next week. Um, it's a fantastic film, but ten years in the making, guys. Ten years, and that woman's life of constantly getting rejections, constantly people saying, "No, it's not for us. It's not for us." And now it's out there finally, and it's incredible, and she's reaping the rewards. You know, um, you can't be afraid of those no's. I've had so many no's in my life, and. If I'm lucky, this sounds crazy, but I'll continue to get so many no's, you know, because they eventually lead to those yeses and you grow. Rejection is part of success. Failure is a part of success. It's not failure. You shouldn't even use that word. It's no's. The only way you can fail is if you quit. You know, yeah, that's yeah. the only way, that's the only route can to failure. Well? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Like, basically, I mean, the reason why is well, it took me several years to kind of get off the ground is because I, I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. You know, so I was learning by my own mistakes, but what you can do to shortcut that so it doesn't take 10 years is learn from other people's yeah. mistakes, read about it. People document this stuff all the time, like Stephen's documenting his yeah. You know, there's all kinds of resources out there, like, uh, like the BFI, you go on their yeah. website and you can see case studies of movies. Uh, you know how they got it off the ground, how much money it made, etc. Find a formula. You know, yeah. there's not just the market out there, us, the audience, the spectators, but also there's the industry. They they have a they they want certain things. Yeah. So the more research you can do, the quicker the process, the quicker you can actually get the phone off the ground. You know, like I made a movie uh, that took kind of two years off the ground. I just went out and made it. I didn't do any market research or anything. And in hindsight, that was a mistake. But yeah. at the same time, I wouldn't be in this position if I didn't do that. So. Yeah. It's part and parcel of the game, like, you know, learn from that, but yeah. learn not just from your own mistakes, learn from other people's mistakes. And that's why I talk and, and seek advice from people like Ian and other people like Elaine, who I met last night, the director of Northern Soul, because they're ahead of me in this game, in their, in their journey. So I'm learning from them, and that's why I'm sharing this information with you guys. I wish that someone had done this, but this was available for me 10 years ago when I was starting out in the acting game. I'd have been so happy and that's why I'm doing this because this information I feel is invaluable and it would have been absolutely brilliant for, for someone like me 10 years ago and hopefully for you guys out there and it's warts and all, do you know, I'm not like, I'm being completely transparent, I'm nervous about this, no one does this because again, fear, being scared of doing it and, and I've got to admit it does make me nervous. But I know that there'll be people out there who will truly benefit from this, you know. So I've got to forget about being nervous and getting embarrassed and just do it, you know. And, and hopefully you guys will, will appreciate that. So tune in for the next episode. Please like and share this video if you found it useful. If you didn't find it useful, share and like it anyway because there will be people out there who will find it useful comment any questions you've got for us guys inbox me leave a comment whichever way you want to do it and also like i said i'll be talking to elliot james landridge next week about northern soul if you've got any questions for elliot please do the same comment leave your questions and i'll be sure to make sure that they're involved in the interview next week okay guys thanks a lot for watching like share comment and i'll see you on the next video peace